Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I, there's a leprechaun in the room. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing well. We got Dom Salvucci joining us tonight, as usual, in that so important co-hosting chair, the South or the yeah Southwest right. Regional Director. How you doing, man? How, how's the day going? Doing well. Doing well. Get ready to listen to some Dropkick Murphys in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. Got right. the. Uh, Grew the beard out for the occasion. Not quite as uh, splendiferous as yours, but you know, I'm working on it. Ah, uh, you know, that's all right. You know, I give you, I give you a solid, you know, solid A for that effort, man. All right, there you go. Get the white in there. So that's more natural. Get that white in there. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm kind of attached to mine, so I, I keep mine around. I, I sport it. My, my wife got me this. It's the blend of the Irish of her family and the Italian of mine. So, oh, I like that Italian. Um, and I, I hung up my green Reptar shirt in my classroom today because I was really battling. Do I go? Rugrats, Reptar. So, so I, I compromised with my socks. I went Reptar sock on the right foot, and I went Baby Yoda green sock on my left foot. So, I, you know, I, it was kind of an emotional day for us over here. The, our, my sixth graders we were hanging out with. <laughs> yeah, I didn't wear this to school today because I was afraid of getting coffee on it, to not being able to wear it for the uh, for the broadcast tonight. So, <laughs> well, you know, you, you meet you meet all those parents when they're coming in the parent line. So, I don't know, they might have like. Taking their kid and bolted if they would have saw you. I know. Like, you know it, don't don't want to scare the kids away as they're coming into the building. That's it. You got to be careful with that. Wait till they're in the building, then <laughs> then it, you know whatever you want. It's all live. All right. So we've got a special St. Patrick's Day edition talking about PAZT and the great things about it. What do you think, Tom? I think it's going to be a great show. So great, we didn't want to postpone it. We kept the regular schedule, even though it's St. Patrick's Day, because. It's going to be that good a show. That's right. So, you know, as we do every week, Tom, what's it time for? The PACT pod. You know it. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ninth episode Still in season one of the PACT pod, the March edition. My name's Eric Bruno. I'm vice Dom president Salvucci. of PACTA, PACT. And with me, we got Dom Salvucci. How's All right, Dom. Tonight? Hope you oh, guys are man. well at home. Yeah. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Things are going well. And, you know, we got, uh, got, got some cool topics. You know, you and I get to brainstorm and think of different topics and even got emails coming in and some members of the community kind of sending in what their thoughts are. So uh, what, what's our topic today, Dom? Tonight, it's getting to know PACT. Um, we just had our first face-to-face -face meeting with Ben Smith as our new president, you as the vice president. Um, we introduced some new members, a bunch of new members to the board and, um, and committees and such. We hope to have them on through shows. We thought, what better way to start off, do a little recap of, the meeting, which you know, we could talk for hours about BACT, uh, the snowstorm of 2022, <laughs> March 2022, yep. and the, the uh, brutal cold of March 2022, we survived for the, the meeting at State College. But we want to introduce two special guests. Yeah, so uh, definitely have a lot of, uh, you know, we always put a call for, or a call for participation out uh, from the state. And anybody who's interested in getting involved, they reach out. And we work on finding a spot for him. And I, I love how uh, Ben said this year, like, in, in the times that we have right now, in how or what all teachers are facing, if somebody reached out saying they were willing to volunteer their time, he wasn't going to turn them away. And I, I agree. That's a, that's a yeah. phenomenal thought, phenomenal statement. So, uh, you know, again, a lot of new people, a lot of new, uh, new blood, you know, use that phrase. Um, and it's really, it's exciting to hear the history. You know, to know this organization's been running um, 61 years, I believe, is what we talked about, correct? Yes. Yeah. Like early 60s, 61, I think, is when it started. Yeah, just just amazing at what they've done. So, like Dom said, um, you know, we if you just came to the pod to listen to Dom and I talk, we could talk for hours. Nobody wants to come to that. We want to make sure people show up every week. You know what I'm saying, Dom? Yep. That's, that's kind of important. <laughs> so we have uh, Sue Allen, who's our new uh, our new South Central Regional Director. And we have J.G. Rezig, who is going to be our North Central PACT uh, Regional Director. Now, when we were kind of putting this together, I was like, wow, we're being very 
central Pennsylvania driven here. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, East and West are going to get a little mad at us, but but that's all right. So I'm going to invite them onto the stage here, and uh, we're going to have a nice show. Just chat with them about what what they're who they are, what they're doing, and you know what their plans are. So, all right. and one thing, if I could add, everyone at PACT on the board and on the committees were volunteers. There are no yep. paid members. It's all volunteering of time and effort. Yep, that is so correct. So let's roll. Let's roll the guest guest sponsor line. Here we go. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Sue, JG, first time on the show. How are we? We'll start with Sue. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I have my PAECT block sitting right oh, here love nice. it, in my home office. The miner hiding back there with the stars. JG, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm good. How's everybody? Hey, we're doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Well, you know, so we sent uh, now, so we're going to do a better job of helping you. <laughs> not talk over each other like Dom and I do all the time. You know, we love it. We're, it's all, always good. Good banter. Um, so I did send you a couple questions, but, you know, mm -hmm. let's just be honest. You, you got them like 20 minutes ago. Okay. All right. It's just how we roll. So anyway, so uh, we'll go through and we'll go Sue first, JG kind of follow up, and we'll just kind of go back and forth if you're all right with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And listen, we're all teachers here. So interruptions, tangents, stories, we love them all. You know what I mean? That's just what, that's what our classes are. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> All right, so let's uh, specifically your day job. What is it like? Like Dom said, we have nobody who's a paid staff of the ACT. We're all volunteers. We're made up of, I would say, venturing like 98, 99 educators. You know, there's a couple people that might be retired or in that upper echelon admin. Um, so, what's your day job, Sue? Uh, my day job is as a instructional technology specialist in the Hemfield School District in Lancaster County. I work with students and staff in grades K through eight in five different buildings. Okay, that's good stuff. All right, mm -hmm. JG. All right, I am an elementary STEM teacher um, on, in Oswale Valley School District up in Potter County, right on the New York border. And I work with pre-K all the way up to fifth grade right now. Good stuff. All right. Second question, Dom. Okay, this one might throw you a little bit of a curve, but if you had a superpower, what do you think yours is? And all of you have superpowers because we see what you guys do in the classroom. We've seen what you've done with PAACT, KTI. What's your superpower? So the, the framing is it's, it could be something that you think you currently have or it could be something that you would like to have. All right. So um good question i would say my superpower is the ability to make extensive to-do list and not cross much off <laughs> listen i've seen your list they're amazing i'm not gonna lie they're good they're good help keep people organized i love it and, and she's just saying she's being modest other people cross things off for her because she's like hey okay, let's delegate let's all work through this no i like that now now if you could pick any superpower what would it be though let's let's go comic book realm what do you got Hmm. I need time to think on that one. All right, we'll come back in. All right, all right. We'll do some wait oh, time. oh, wait. Oh, I got it. I got it. The ability to stop time. Oh, oh she's gonna, mine. I thought she was going to say the ability to stop Verno because it worked. Like she was like, hey, and I stopped right away. Okay, all right. My ability to stop time. I like that. Not enough hours Just for sure. day. Just for short chunks. <laughs> All right, I don't want to throw the space-time continuum off too much. All right, I like that. All right, JG, tough act to follow. So, superpower. Uh, oh, all right. So, the one that I think I have, that I've been told I have, it's it's not really manly at all, but um, I've been called a social butterfly. And that I am able to walk into a room and find someone to be able to talk to and relate to. So... Um, I would say the superpower that I would like to have uh, would be the ability to multiply. Like I find myself that I need a clone or I need an assistant or a sidekick at some point because I'm running different places all the time. So if I could multiply, I would, I would definitely be able to handle that as a superpower. That's a neat one. That is a good one. Math teachers must love you. 
<laughs> now, now, for the record, the social butterfly, we don't want to know what that superpower outfit looks like. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if it's up to Edna, if it's, if it's up to Edna from Incredibles, no cape. No cape. No cape. No cape. <laughs> <laughs> Just some wings. Like, picture the rock. And, like, the <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. All right. Good stuff there. All right. Okay. That's good. That's why I like that. You know, I always say my, my ability would be talking to a wall and making it talk back. So it goes with the social butterfly aspect. All right. How about you, Dom? We're going to hit you with that question. Since uh, you did a great job. The gift of gab is my superpower, but I want to expand on Susan, manipulate time, not just pause it, but be able to speed it up, slow it down and manipulate it with, you know, you're on vacation. You want to take five day vacation, stretch it out with the family, you know, kind of hit pause let the family keep running around on the beach and, you know, right. not have to pay the extra week for staying an extra five days because we've stopped time. <laughs> Just not like the movie Click with Adam Sandler. You gotta be careful. All right, so let's go. Question three. All right, we're warming up. We're smiling. They haven't. They haven't left the room yet, Tom. We're good. All right, we're gonna be able to pay the bills this week. All right. Uh, how long have you been involved with P A E C T? So we'll start with Sue. I would say 2007, 2006, 2007. Which we learned this weekend that was kind of like when, when Pete and C, like in that ballpark, that's when that kicked off and things like that started stepping up. All right, very cool. JG? I had to really think back. Um, I, my date could be off, but I'm thinking 2017. So relatively new, but... Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to hit a follow up question here. Uh, Sue, uh, Sue, who, what, what was it that got you involved with PACT? Uh, going to Pete and C as a CFF coach was what got me involved and in going to the dinner. And I'm going to give a call out to Marty McGall for dragging me to the dinner uh, because she was involved with the regional board at that time. So. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. I'll blame Marty. <laughs> oh, Marty's great. Yep, Marty yep. is awesome. Very much so. All right, JG, same question. What what or whom or what was it that got you or pulled you into PACT? All right. So that one I do remember. Um, it was a dinner meeting at Timber Creek in Meadville. And uh, Nicole Hill and Josh Bundy um, had set it up. And I got pulled in. My wife was or is a uh, part of AECT. And so she's like, Hey, you know, you should probably be a local partner with this. So let's go to this meeting and see what it's all about. And so that's where I met uh, Nicole and Josh. And then um, my wife taught with Kelsey Boyles from Northwest region as well. So then that following year, I got the opportunity to go to Pete and C and that's where I was like, wait a minute, I think I know you people from somewhere. And they, they, Pulled me right in, and I've never looked back. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Good job. Well, you give a little coffee coffee cheer to the missus, getting you involved, and now where you are today. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, Don, what do we got next? What question? Um, well, this past week, we were just talking before you guys jumped on screen about the first state board meeting of uh, Ben Smith's presidency. What are your thoughts? What are your initial thoughts about that board meeting this past weekend? Start with Sue. It was a whirlwind. I took a lot of notes and I'm still going through the notes and my multiple to-do list from the meeting, which I've crossed nothing off of. <laughs> All right, JG. Uh, same. Um, I, it was a lot to take in. Um, I made the mistake of sitting next to uh, Linda, our recording secretary, and um, I I <laughs> had to follow along because if I wasn't speaking up, which I thought I could just, you know, sit back and observe all weekend. Nope, I was wrong. I'm going to participate. <laughs> There's no lurkers in the meeting. It's not like That's right. in social media. I think everybody, everybody has had an experience and Linda's, and I know he's saying that in such a positive way. She's awesome. Oh, it is. I love it. Yeah, help to keep yeah. him in tow. But I think everybody who's been there, the first time I ever proxied, like, 
I hadn't made a motion and she was just like, <clears throat> your name's not in the minutes. Like, you know, made it very clear yeah. that I had to say something. I was like, I looked at her, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? How do I do that? You know? So she, yeah, she's awesome. So yeah, made, we made sure that JG was in the minutes. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I had to be very astute with my unmute button because I was attending virtually in order to do a second for a motion to get into the minutes. So it is, it is fast and furious. <laughs> Abstentions and tchotchkes are two things we don't like bringing up. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, I pulled yes, I learned those weekend. are bad words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, it's rare, we have, it's rare we have either of them said, but when they are, there's a, there's a pause on the minute taking. Um, One yeah, thing no. I thought was really good about the board meeting uh, was that we did bring so many new volunteers on board and doing the history and the background of PAECT. Every time I hear it, I learn something that I didn't know before. And I, I really appreciated that with our board meeting that uh, Ben included that and included so many different volunteers in telling the story of PIECT. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is going to be posted somewhere. I don't know exactly where it will be posted, but I know they were going to keep that around because that is a, an important history uh, for the organization. A lot of people have, you know, put, put a, blood, sweat, tears, effort into creating PACT, what it is today. Yep. I remember them saying uh, sometimes in the, you know, in the meetings, they, they didn't know if they were going to be able to take care of certain bills or this or that because of, you know, just, just working on get, doing what you can. And it's, you know, it, it's all volunteers. So, um, you know, doing what we do, but, yeah. um, you know, that, that the blood, sweat and tears, that foundation that was laid is so strong and where we are now is just unbelievable. And we're pulling in awesome people such as the two of you to uh, help keep the excitement, keep the fresh ideas coming, you know, keep it flowing. So, so speaking of pulling you in, not only were you at the board meeting, as many volunteers were, we have committees, committee chairs. Um, and, and one thing I got to speak on is our regions. We have six regions in the state. We have an out-of-state region. And the growth that we have, unbelievable, uh, over the years that I've been involved and been on the board. Um, and I truly believe the rock star piece of our organization is our regions and it really falls on the regional directors and being a regional director for many years um dom be, being there before i was a regional director um just going through that i feel like there's so much that goes on at that level that it's so important and both of you not only have stepped up to be a part of the board but you both stepped up and uh have been approved um, um sue allen approved by the board jg um ran um, then was voted in as uh, the regional director. So, Sue, you're regional director of South Central Pennsylvania. So the question with all that, and with my Italian long-winded, oh, Italian verbiage, is, uh, you know, what made you step up to be a regional director? I just saw it as an opportunity to give back to the organization, as well as an opportunity to involve people within our region and network and collaborate and really we do it all for the kids and what what's happening in our classrooms every day excellent all right jg same question to you sir all right um i would say one small piece of it is i actually moved out of the northwest region um into the north central um and to stay involved um, as much as I could, this just became open. Um, I had some coaxing, uh, maybe a little bit of pushing, um, from <laughs> some people in the Northwest to say, Hey, you can do this job. You know, why not take that next leap and, and help us out? So yeah, it was, it was a little bit of both. I, uh, I moved and, uh, it was, it was that next step to, to help out PAECT and all the great things that, that we do. That's awesome. All right, we're off script now, Don. What do you got? Um, following up with this, I think those are the, the big questions asking of them. But, um, you know, glad to have you guys on the board. Glad I'm looking forward to working with both of you. Um, Sue, we've worked with you for a while with marketing. You were the guru that if we wanted something, you did the organization, did the list, came up with all kinds of options. 
pricing and you know ways we could help get stuff tchotchkes out to the members and uh some <laughs> you know some some really cool things out to the members um so i've known you for a while and jg it was great meeting you um you know first time i really got to hang out with you was at pete and then you know this past weekend um mm -hmm. it's like family it, it's the one nice thing the board and the committee members and even with PAC, you know, my turn to be long-winded. Um, you know, before before PLNs were like a thing in schools, um, my PLN was PACT members and Keystones, and uh, I didn't even know what Keystones was. And I was actually running online with a bunch of them, and they were kind of my mentors. And that sort of transitioned me into um, C a CFF coach. I helped us get the grant for our district, uh, Cohort 3. And then, you know, getting pulled into PACT because I was unofficially hanging out with everybody, and they're like, "Should be a part of the organization and and you know contribute." And like you said, JG, it's a way to contribute, so a way to give back. Um, great organization. It's like a family. Definitely. So, uh, in that in that concept, we're going to be. You know, one thing we'll do is we we go over like kind of upcoming events in PACT. So. You could think of an event maybe you have come up that you want to talk about, um, but, you know, not that this is your state of the region address, you know, but you've, you've taken over, you know, I know you've met with your, I'm sure your regional boards and you've talked about different things. What are, what are thoughts and ideas you may have? So again, it could be as concrete of, Hey, next month we're doing X or, you know, what are some different things that you'd like to see? Because, you know, kind of how Dom said over the years, when, when PACT first started, the regional directors, the regions were those PLNs. They were the way for people to connect. Now we've had this transition with this thing called social media on every every platform you know, there is. They want to be everywhere we are. Um, so it's that that's the part where that creativity comes in and what types of things you're planning, what is your thoughts of doing. Building community is always so important for us. So you know, what, what kind of thoughts in those those lines, again, could be some concrete event that's coming up um, or just, you know, overall or, you know, go for two. All right, Sue, we'll start with you. Uh, well, we have a virtual event coming up for pre-service teachers, which is the Keystone Lead and Learn. We have 10 volunteer presenters who are going to be leading five sessions and then we switch and we'll do the second set of five sessions. So that's available for pre-service teachers. So trying to get the word out to universities and colleges to have their students take advantage of that free PD for them. And then we're going to give a giveaway during that event to those that are members of PAECT. And for a student, a pre-service student, they can join PAECT as a premium member while they are a student. And we also have student chapters. So reaching out to those student chapters at universities and colleges to get them involved as well. And then later this spring, we have a face-to-face -face event planned for our members. Mm -hmm. We're still looking for a venue because of COVID that we can uh, meet in a larger group face-to-face, -face, but that's on the, in the works. And then this summer, we'll figure out what's coming for 22-23. All right, excellent. I had to find my unmute button. Um, all right, so very good. So, JG, what about your thoughts? Again, something concrete coming up, vision for the future. What do you got? Yep. Um, well, I'm going to start with being so new to the region. Um, I'm definitely leaning hard on that connect pillar. Um, I want to, you know, reach out to all of my northwest or north central people. Um, that way, we can get ourselves established, or I should get myself established and situated. Um, but the one thing that I have reached out and um, you had that clicker going across the bottom of the screen, um, we're hoping to have Sam Labs come in uh, to the North Central region and do a couple events for us. Um, I know um, Josh Bundy has been talking with them, so they'll be out in the Northwest. So hopefully they'll get um, some more events coming uh, everybody's direction. So heading that way. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so you were talking about our gold sponsors that we have, Sam Labs and Padcaster going across. Um, and even, you know, always looking for our corporate council members to be able to make connections there and invite them to different different items. So I love it. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. The and goal then, past uh, president sneaking in a comment, which we're going to bring up here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. She's just making sure, making sure we're on, we're on top of things, right, Tom? Yep, yep, good stuff. I like it. That's good. All right. Well, you know, your uh, your couple of minutes on the hot seat are almost done. And we'll, we'll go with uh, final thoughts and uh, final things before before we move on. All right. So, final thoughts, Sue. We'll go with you. Uh, I'm just excited about the opportunity. Excited about getting more people involved in the South Central region, and also excited about the upcoming book study that we have for the whole state. Awesome. All right, JG. Yeah. Uh, getting to know so many more people. Um, I've met just amazing people um, in the past and, you know, using that superpower of my social butterfly, uh, I am going to meet so many more new and amazing people. And, and I just, I learned so much from them. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing just talking with them, having conversation of new ideas that pop in. Um, and, and that's where I get a lot of my lesson ideas is talking with someone, sharing ideas and coming up with new, new events and new plans. So looking forward to meeting so many new people and that's like awesome. Dom said, bringing them into the family. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, on the bottom of the screen, I have, you know, head of the PACT regional spark page, our regional directors come together, all the events they have planned. They work on filling out the Spark, making sure it's updated monthly. I know that was one of the things that um, regional directors worked on this weekend at our this past weekend at the state board meeting. So if you go to bit.ly forward slash all caps PACT and lowercase events. So that's bit.ly forward slash capital PACT lowercase E V E N T S. And that is one of the spots to go. That is the most updated area. But you can also head to the PACT.org website and uh, click on the calendar. And it's beneficial to be a premium member, $35 to be a premium member. Uh, we do have free membership tiers. Sue mentioned our student chapters. You know, that's one of the things that I really feel strongly, you know, as she does as well is, is for that growth. And, um, you know, I, we have four student teachers in our building now talking with them, different things. You know, you don't know what you don't know. Um, so I, I love the fact that we work really hard to get them involved. If you are in an education program, your premium membership is free. So you can sign up and you get a free premium membership, um, get access to the different things going on, our calendar, emails. And uh, we have a really cool thing called Kite Learning that we're going to feature next month um, and talk about the Kite Learning program. All right. And one of the things, if you are a current educate educator, the $35 membership for premium is tax deductible. So we are a nonprofit organization so it's a write-off yeah so. everybody likes that all right well jg sue we greatly appreciate you coming out on this uh saint patrick's day evening maybe you're going to go listen to some flogging mollies like dom is dying to do shortly <laughs> and uh you have a wonderful one. enjoy it's it's also friday eve so enjoy your yes. friday and uh seems like a very very warm well in the east end we got a warm weekend what is what's the west have dom and jg what do you what? guys West is warm right now. Okay. North is warm. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right. See, you usually say north. Shorts weather. Oh. Far cry from this weekend. <laughs> Shorts weather. There you go. Break up those gaps. All right. Well, thank you so much. You have a great rest of your evening. See you guys. Thank you for coming All on. Right. See you. Thank you. All right. Good stuff. Hey, you know, it's so great to hear those new voices, hear the different things going on. You know, it's, it's awesome. I mean, our organization is as awesome as our members. It's as awesome as our regions and regional directors. And we've got awesome members. We have awesome regions uh, you know, on the boards and awesome regional directors. So it's really A lot cool. of people participating, which is great. Yep, very much so. All right, Don, we're about to jump into our upcoming events segment. we got a lot of stuff going on here at the tail yes. end of March and, and in April. Why don't you kick it off? Well, starting next week, um, Wednesday, 7 p.m., the virtual book study that Nicole Hill mentioned, When You Wonder, You're Learning. It's an ongoing book study. It's Act 48 credits available for Pennsylvania educators. You can check out at PACT.org. Calendar's at the bottom of the home page, and the link to register is off that calendar. Um, we're going to the events section of the PACT.org. You don't have to attend every session. Um, we're looking to spend about an 
hour or so, an evening. A uh, little guided discussion. We have some members who stepped up. In fact, um, Northwest, we were at uh, Pete and C, and one of the members came up and approached Josh Bundy and myself, and they were like, we should do a book study off the book from one of the keynotes. And we kind of volunteered her, like, this is a great idea, Jen Tony. We had her on the show, um, Dr. Jen Tony. We're like, great idea. Why don't you organize it? Run it. We will support you. And she did. She stepped up. She And there's actually a committee of about four or five people that stepped up and organized the book study. And they're taking turns being mentors. So it's not falling on all one person. That's the nice thing. You have the committee um, set up. And that starts next week. So you don't have to attend every session. It'll be on Wednesdays at 7. Um, you know, and you get Act 48 if you need it, if you want it. And you can drop in and out as you like. Yeah, cool and that's one, that's one great thing that uh, PHCT does. You know, when we have our own events, we offer Act 48. Uh, if there's an event we can come in and support, you know, uh, when Ed Camps were real big, we were definitely at many, many Ed Camps across yes. the state. You know, there's a lot of ways we can support and offer those hours as well. So, um, so yeah, it's really good. Uh, we also have the virtual makerspace uh, hosted in the southeast. Um, they they were showing off some of the things that they're doing. They're working on making creations. So they're not all together, um, but you know, uh, coming together through Zoom and the different feet, different types of uh, technologies that we have. Um, they almost feel like they're hanging out in the same space together. So that's a really exciting endeavor that Southeast has going on. Yes. Um, my region, we were asked to co-sponsor um, the Get Connected Conference at St. Vincent College. It's an English language arts conference. Um, we have a couple of PACT members presenting and organize, helping organize that. We are a co-sponsor. Check out PACT.org for details. Sign up it goes, I think, up through March 30th or fairly, fairly close. So if you're interested, it's easy to get to from your region, South Central. Um, Northwest, Southwest, check it out. It is going to be a good conference. Yeah. That takes us in you, April. Yeah, why don't you take the April 2nd one there? Okay, uh, Fab Lab event, Bethlehem, PA, hosted by the Northeast Region. Check out PACT.org for more details. That's key. Mm -hmm. Always go to the website or check out the bit.ly. Um, we do have a lot of information posted on the website. Yeah, so the next one I want to pull up. So I was uh, buying time there. I wanted to pull up the screen and share what they have going on. Uh, let's see. All right, we've got the out-of-state region is doing the totally rad 80s prom gone bad virtual murder mystery night, a night of mullets and mystery. Uh, with their high school career coming to an end, students of Mayhem High find themselves battling it out over grades, popularity, affection, class rankings, and what they all have been focused on for years, who will be awarded the prom king and queen title. So there's, uh, I, be, I believe, 50 spaces for this because everybody has to have a different role. So if you are in the mood to either relive the 80s or, you know, uh, you know learn about teachers, <laughs> there's some teachers that, uh, you know, just barely heard about them and you want to experience what it may be like, the totally rad 80s prom gone bad is something for you to check out. I participated in one of the past ones. These are a blast. Um, it would have helped if I would have put it on the stream there. Ron, or, <laughs> Dom, I'm going to add it right there. There's the uh, the image of what they got yeah. going on there. All right. It, these are fun. We did one previously. It was great. Um, I will not be able to participate in this one. Uh, my wife's birthday is that night, so I'll be doing the family thing, but that is, these are a blast. Definitely. All right, what else we have? Uh, April 19th, what do we got? That's you as well, isn't it? South Southwest Meet and Geek, uh, date and time and location to be announced. So check out PACT.org for upcoming details. All right, April 21st, we got the Northwest Meetup in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. So a lot of good stuff going on in the Northwest. Yes. Make sure to check it out. April 23rd, which Sue was talking about, the Keystone Lead and Learn virtual event for pre-service teachers hosted by South Central, tentatively at 10 a.m. start. Uh, follow up at PACT.org. I know I keep repeating that, but that is where you go to get the information. Very important. Definitely very important for you to be there. 
All right. We also have, uh, and, and that's near and dear to my heart. I really believe working with the free service teachers is huge for, for us. Um, and just some reminders, PHD has an Amazon Smile account. Uh, so think of us if you shop on Amazon, which many of us do very much. Um, along with that, we keep you know pushing the website. Um, there's a lot of information there. We do send out weekly emails, weekly blasts. There's a monthly blast that goes out to all members, um, free and premium. At the beginning of the month with all the events for that month, we have a weekly update that goes out, and we have the Educational Technology Today newsletter that has information from PACT and NYSCATE, which is the New York affiliate um, similar to PACT. That is correct. So um, check your email for those. Yeah, and that's important. There's so many good. There's so many good things in there. We try to put stuff in there. That's relevant events that are going on. Love it. You know, I always try to click the different articles. Um, so I definitely look forward to that technology newsletter today. Education technology today newsletter that's coming my email inbox on Wednesday. So it's time for us because we wouldn't be the voice of EdTech and PA if we wouldn't really talk about tech. So I think it's time for us to, uh, to crank out our tech notes. What do you think? I think it's a good time for that. All right, let's roll it. All right, Dom, I believe you're up first here with your tech yes. tip of the month. I am going, once again, retro. Um, I'll pull this up. It is Animoto.com. Animoto is a video making website. It's super easy. It works on mobile devices, works on computers. It, they used to have an educational membership where they gave you um, pro benefits for free with an educational email. They have since changed that plan and they have a free level and then they have several premium levels of service. The free level gives you um, unlimited standard definition videos, but it's as easy as pulling uh, images up on your phone or video up on your phone, dropping it into a template or create your own template. They give you uh, copyright free music to use behind your pictures and it gives you a professional looking video in seconds you don't have to worry about copyright you don't have to worry about um violating music copyright any of that stuff it gives you the template to build a professional looking video easily they do have student accounts that um, you can use if you're um 13 or older students they can create their own account through the school email and uh, post things. If they're under 13, there's a way to go about doing that once you get parental permission. Um, but it's fantastic. I've set student accounts up in the past. I've used this for school. Uh, it, it's just a great, um, a great little. I'm gonna scroll around here. You know, different school projects we did. Matter of seconds, we walked around New Brighton, learned the community. For new teachers and some older, some of us older teachers that haven't been around, you know, kind of forgot things from the past. But pictures and videos, drop them in, hit a button, it organizes the video for you. Um, neat tool, very neat tool. Yeah, I like I, using I, it. Um, I encourage my students to use it when we do special projects. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's free and it's easy to use. I remember when it first came out, I was definitely an avid user and uh, they had a lot of different things. And, you know, education was a free tier at that point. Like you said, it's changed now. And uh, it just just being on, you know, a family trip, being able to, like, you're taking tons of pictures, throw them into it real quick, pick the different layout that you want. Mm -hmm. It would automatically pick the music in the back end. You'd send the link out. It looked like a million dollars. I mean, yeah. you, you it's just, it was no muss, no fuss. And like you said, if you... If it came out, you didn't care for the way it did some things. You click like re-render, and you don't—you didn't have to go through it step by step, get all your timing. It did everything automatically in the back end. Yeah. Um. And for years, uh, now last year we were 100% remote with, the, with our team. Year before we had the shutdown, so it's been a couple of years since I've been on there. So I love this refresh because I used to pay for that month because you would get an unlimited. I have about a six-minute um, clip that I've made in. Uh, 
Audacity was blanking on the name of that. And so like it's it's set music. So I would work on putting you know, it was just just shy. It was like right around four hundred pictures would go in, and I would time it up in and just pick the different backgrounds in Animoto. So you can even pull in your own music if you have. And yeah. I love their ability to embed, share the link, um, downloaded the different resolutions to be able to share with your class. So no, it's awesome. So that that's a, that's phenomenal that. They pulled in like student accounts and teacher can kind of have kids do some things like that. You know, definitely very cool, a very powerful yeah. back end. So that's awesome. It is. And it's, you know, we said free is the key thing. And they give you a lot for the free level. Um, and you could, if you wanted to go, you know, get the unlimited HD, you could, you could pay, but unlimited standard definition works. Mm -hmm. uh, show teachers this when we did an in service a couple of years ago uh, before COVID. And it, it does. It's a professional looking video. Not a lot of effort on the back end. You can drop video within video. You can do regular pictures. And it organizes and like you said, edge magically on the back end. Automagically on the back end. Okay. So that's a good one, man. I like it. Like, you know, oldie but a goodie. I mean, yeah. I love the fact that you know they're they're changing and they're updating their products. So that's good. I like that. All right, so I'm going to roll with something a little different here. Um, this is actually, I want to share about a blog post um, that, that Google put out there. Um, so a little different. So I, I am a big fan of a program. I met the designer at uh, ISTE in Chicago, I believe. Uh, and he was a teacher in California who came up with a thing at that time. It was called GoFormative. Uh, now they've cut off the go, and it's formative.com. And I love it for your ability to kind of, you know, create something, uh, turn a, you know, just a very dull kind of handout, add a little bit where they can draw, they can add things to it. Uh, and then you can also kind of set it as, you know, when I'm doing my rotations in math, it's kind of like my one of my independent station work where the kids are working through some problems and they're plugging it in and it's telling them whether they have it right or wrong immediately. So they're getting immediate feedback. They can adjust it. They can work with a partner. So Google, you know, watching all that stuff going on, seeing how their links are going out through Classroom, um, they're introducing something called Practice Sets. And I actually heard about this just to share some of my geekiness on a podcast called Chrome Unboxed. And they had one of the members of the, the team, the Classroom team on talking about this. So Practice Sets, a more personal path to learning. When I look over it again, my brain goes to, it's very similar to Formative. Um, so this is just their post. They have a video. We won't show it here. We'll put the link in our notes um, for you to be able to check. But talking about making a basically personalized learning, making it very uh, interactive through Google Classroom. And um, the ability now, as I look here for a second, let me pull onto a screen that makes me think of uh, kind of what you're doing. So you're kind of taking a, a, pro, a handout or something that you already have, and you're kind of creating the fields where people can put in and insert their answers. So again, making it, giving it that little interactive edge to it. Um, and they talk about, you know, because it's housed inside of Google Classroom, they're able to pull some of that AI analytical data um, to help you kind of uh, get insights into the class as far as students that are struggling on certain questions, you know, certain types, you know, and you're going to look at it and say, oh, there are certain types of questions. Oh, I can tell uh, this is what they're really, it's really a multiplication issue that they're struggling with. Um, that superpower that JG has. Uh, it may be a division scenario or whether it's, you know, vocabulary or um, maybe it's something in science and um, it's just the process of working through whether it's a chemical formula, chemical interaction, or, you know, just the, the way, um, you know, forces are being added or subtracted together. So um, this is something that's upcoming. They're talking about, but the reason why I wanted to highlight it is I think, uh, you know, obviously anything to kind of add to Google Classroom, I know, uh, in PA, there's a lot of people using Google Classroom, um, and I'm kind of like I tip my toes in, in both realms. I love a lot of the Microsoft products, and I use them, and even on Chromebooks, but we also have, um, you know, Google Classroom, some of that stuff that I use as well. Uh, but in the article, the keyword, so blog.google.com on the keyword blog, uh, there is here to get in touch uh, if you're interested in participating in the beta. And they did say if you are a Google Workspace for Education Plus, so I'm, I'm I'm not positive. I did reach out to our IT department, but I still filled out the form um, because, again, uh, if there's some way to kind of look at it and, and be able to give my voice to help in, in how this feature rolls out, um, I definitely want to do my part. So I definitely 
think if um, if that's something you're using in the classroom, I think practice sets could add a little bit of that interactive touch that um, that way you're not having to jump to third party and rem- oh, I remember this password, remember that first password. It's all housed in one location. So that, practice that looks, sets, yeah. That looks phenomenal. A great tool to be able to use. Most definitely. So hopefully, again, you know, it's just, it's what they're talking about, you know, and I know different tech companies may talk, hey, we're going to be putting this thing out and they get a little further down the road and sometimes it comes to fruition, sometimes it doesn't. You know, hopefully it does pull through. Oh, so that is neat. Thank you for that information. I have to check that blog out. That's what yeah. they're going to get back. You, you, the time thing, the, the superpower, being able to like manipulate time. I'm behind on a library book. Like, uh, yeah, I've checked it out ebook four times. So my blog reading has, has slacked a little bit trying to get through this book. And then I'm going to do the virtual book study starting next week. So I have some reading to get done this weekend. No, yeah, that's always the thing. I mean, that, that time superpower is huge because that's something that, you know, teachers have a lot of stuff thrown on us, but we're never given more time to do it. So, yeah, always tough. All right. Well, we're kind of hitting the end of the show, I do believe. Yeah. So I think it's... uh. Time for us to, to make sure to thank our sponsors. I do know we will be updating this. We do have a couple new sponsors that are coming on board um, as of late uh, with our corporate council. So uh, we'll be making sure, uh, I believe, DRC's insight. I'm working on getting their graphic. But um, we have a couple of our other corporate council and our gold sponsors that we'd like to roll the footage and thank them. And if, if you are a PACT member out and about and you come across at any event, come across some of our corporate and gold sponsors, please thank them because they make everything we do at PACT possible, as do you and, you know, your paid memberships. Most definitely. And your volunteering. All right, here, All right, here we go. We'll roll the footage. Great, great corporate council members, great gold members. We really appreciate, as Dom said, helping us do the things we do, you know, helping advance ed tech. It's really awesome. Yeah, it was a great show. Um, you know, glad people had chimed in. Uh, we had a couple regular listeners post some things on social media. We pushed that on the screen. A lot of people coming in and checking out after the fact. Appreciate you guys checking us out, viewing and listening to the podcast anywhere you find. Great podcast. Most definitely. And and looking that. ahead, looking ahead to April, I believe uh spring in your PACT step is kind of our tagline, what we're looking at. And um remake learning days, I believe, is something we're gonna be focusing on. Yes. That will be one of the topics we have to have some people from re- remake learning throughout the state coming on and talking about the different events going on. Um yeah, so check us out. And if you can't check us out live, check us out on YouTube. We have the videos posted shortly, and uh, yep. podcasts go out within within a few days to a week. Yep, and then the next next live show will be April twenty first. So you know, uh, truly appreciate you being here, Dom, and I appreciate Thank all you. those who joined live and and all of those who are listening in the future. Uh, whether, like you said, you know, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, um, checking it out through uh, YouTube, all right, all the all the places uh, you are. So you know, thanks for joining us for another PACT pod, and always remember. P-A-C-T, we are the voice of EdTech of Pennsylvania and beyond. Have a great one. Take care, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day.